Hey guys, today we'll be looking at the new demo viewer inside CS2 as well as I made this guide on how to watch your own demos. As we all know, the CSGO demo viewer was really, really bad, but I've got a chance to mess around with the one in CS2 and it is amazing. The demo loads really fast and the features added makes viewing demos in CS2 an enjoyable experience and not needing to use third-party programs. I'll talk about the changes in a bit, but let's go ahead and learn how to watch your own demo. To find your demo that you want to watch, open up your browser, go to steamcommunity.com and once you are here, make sure you log in, find your name and then go down to where it says games, go ahead and click that. Afterwards, you're going to go to my game stats and then go down to the last one where it says personal game data. Once you're in here, you're going to see a tab that says premiere matches. Go to that. So you're going to click on load more history and then you're going to see that there is a download button here towards the left. So click on download. If the file doesn't download, make sure you give it permission or allow it from your ad blocker or antivirus. So I'm going to be downloading this file to my desktop and saving it there. So now I'm going to go to my desktop where I saved the file. So the file saves as BZ2. So you will need a file compression utility to open this. So I'm going to use WinRAR. I am going to extract this file using WinRAR onto my desktop. Once the extraction is done, you're going to see another file like this. You can see the file name of it has a bunch of numbers. I'm just going to rename it here and make sure if you're renaming it, you touch only the beginning of it and leave it dot dem. I renamed the demo to rops.dem. Now let's go ahead and move the demo into the right folder. I'm going to go to my C drive, program files, x86, steam, steam apps, common, Counter-Strike Global Offensive, game, CSGO. Let's minimize this folder and find the demo, which I have stored on my desktop. I'm gonna drag it over into this folder. And as you can see, it's in the right folder now. Next, let's go ahead and open up CS2. And while we wait for it to launch, here's a quick word from the sponsor. This video is sponsored by Skins Monkey, a trading platform where you can instantly get new skins by trading in your old ones. All you have to do is click on your item, see how much it's worth, then pick out some new skins. <laughs> What I love about Skins Monkey is that you can take a bunch of your skins that you don't want and trade it for a better one like I'm doing here, essentially upgrading. Besides trading, you can also buy CSGO skins for cheap with a 30% deposit bonus and if you use my code NART, you get an additional 5%. Make sure to use the link in the description and code NART to get all the extra bonuses. Once CS2 is loaded, open up your console, type in play demo and then space whatever the file name was and I had renamed it to ROPS, then press enter. When you are inside the demo and it loads up, go ahead and press shift F2. And this is going to pop open the demo UI. So let's go over these cool features. First off is the pause and play. And then you have the timeline here. So if you want to skip around, you can. And what's really nice about this is that it's instant, not like in CSGO it would take forever to load. So I want to point out something cool about this timeline is first off, there was a total of 16 rounds played in this match and each shade of Gray. So there's a lighter shade and then there's a darker shade represents a round. So this is round one, round two, round three, round four, and so on. And look at the length of each of the shades of the gray. So if we look at this round, we can see how long it is, right? So this is the beginning of the round. This is the end of the round. And then here we go. Beginning of the round, end of the round, and so on. And you can see that some rounds are longer. Some rounds are much shorter. So that's a really cool aspect of the timeline. This is the current time of the round and where you're at. And then the whole duration of the match. So it's 23 minutes, 11 seconds. You could use th these two options to either rewind 15 seconds or go for 15 seconds. There is this here. If you want to go by one by uh, one round by one round, either back one or forward one. And it tells you what round you're on. However, this is bug because it look it says round two, but up here it's actually round three. So hopefully that gets fixed. And then we have some other speed options. So if you want to go quarter slow mo, as you can see, half times slow mo. Regular speed is one x. That's the normal game time play. Two times speed, fast forward. Four times speed, fast forward, and eight times speed. 
And then another thing to note here, if you want to switch players, you could left click on the screen or right click, or you could also click on the logos here up top, or you could use the number pad. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and zero. What I really like about the demo UI is that once it's up, you can still do things. So you could shift through players, you could, you know, fast forward speeds, you can click around. Compared to in CSGO, once you have the demo UI up, you couldn't really do anything while it's up, right? And I really like that the demo UI is down here and pinned like this instead of that little square box. So very well played to the devs. If you wanted to pull out the map layout, press Q while inside the demo and you could draw with two different colors as shown here. And what's nice about this in CS2 is that the drawings doesn't appear unless you manually erase it. In CSGO, it would actually disappear after a couple lines. The CS2 demo viewer got some nice changes to it and please leave the video a like if you find this video helpful and check out my other CS2 guides and please subscribe so you don't miss out on future CS2 guides. Thank you so much for watching.